Welcome to our segment on warping. Right here, I've got a drum loop. As you can hear, it's just a little off time. Or, it's got a slight tempo fluctuation. So let's see how we can fix it. Double click on the audio event. The sample editor opens. Select audio tempo definition and set the correct number of bars, the tempo, and the time signature. Most pre-recorded loops have tempo embedded in them. As a rule, the number, which is part of the audio file name, like you see here, reflects the file tempo. Select the Warp Sample button. Now let's zoom in. Now click on the file. Cubase will create a Warp tab and simply drag it to the correct beat. If you want to reposition the Warp tab without stretching the audio, click here and drag. Now the audio file plays on time. By the way, if the audio file doesn't start on the downbeat, use the Event Start handle to adjust it. Another way to fix tempo irregularities is to use the audio quantize function. Let's delete the warp tabs. Hold the shift key and click here. Or select audio, real-time processing, unstretch audio. Now let's insert warp tabs on the attack transition. The smallest step I need here is an eighth. For this reason, I'm going to choose an eighth from the Quantize drop-down menu. Now go to Audio, Real-Time Processing, Quantize Audio, and like you see now, the loop is perfectly on time. Next, let's change the tempo of this event. Select Musical Mode. From the Warp Setting drop-down menu, I'm going to choose Drums. Now we can change the tempo of this audio event in real time. And let's go back to our original 131 beats per minute. We can shift the pitch of audio events in real time also.
select an event, and on the info line under transpose, enter a numerical value. You can go up or down as much as two octaves in one semitone steps. I cut this audio vent and transposed it three semitones up and this one three semitones down. Use the fine tune fields to enter a value in fractions of semitones if needed. Once we're satisfied, we can freeze the event to preserve CPU power. Select the audio events, then select audio, real time processing, freeze time stretch and transpose. Cubase SX users can use the MPEX2 algorithm, which is superior to the real time algorithm. Click OK, and Cubase creates a new copy of the original audio file. The original file stays intact, and this new file behaves just like any regular audio file. Double click. Select the Audio Tempo Definition tool, enter the number of bars, the time signature and tempo if needed, press Musical Mode, select Drums from the Warp Setting drop-down menu if you're warping drums, press Shift-G, and let's change the tempo. We saw how we can manipulate audio files in order to match its tempo to a linear grid. Now let's see how we can warp a timeline to match the tempo to the audio file without processing the audio file. Here I have the same drum loop. It's a little off. Press the Time Warp button. This part is recorded to a quantization of an eighth, but maybe I will be able to get away with a quantization of a fourth. Zoom in if needed. Hold the Shift key and click on the audio event area to add a warp tab. Now, drag it to the closest attack point, Let's change the quantization to an eighth and see how this looks. Looks fine. This one looks fine too. Let's fix the end. Hold the shift key. And this concludes our warping tutorial.